this is Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to reading to the finale of Obani Monogatari. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 12, and 3, 2, 1, go. I know, right? <laughs> okay, thank God. So you just want to talk. That's it. He, he probably would have killed you. Come on. Why? Because you want her? Mm -mm. They like this. Y'all like this. <laughs> I mean, because mm, honestly, he just really wants revenge on Sheenable, but no, like, doing it this way. Uh -uh. Ugh. I get that. I don't think she would want to really forgive you. I mean, she's moved on with Agatha, even. You are creepy as fuck. I mean... Well, you know what? Hold up. Why don't we just, you know, ask Shinobu to come over to where you guys are and we can just settle it right there. Squash it, nip it in the butt. I'm just saying. Uh, not only salty, but petty as fuck. I mean, you're like an old boyfriend who doesn't want to say, take no for a fucking answer. Basically, us. Oh, 
Well, I mean, the biggest thing is you would have a normal life. The sword. You know she's still going to keep telling you no, no matter what. But like I said, you have a stick up your ass and you're not going to take no for a fucking answer. Seriously? Out of all the people. So you're just going to leave like that? Really? Let's not. Honestly, you really don't need to be doing this over a damn girl. But I get it. Really? <laughs> what are you two doing?
Oh, what is that point that she um, Honestly, really, you do. You need closure, honey. Don't kill her. I mean, she's just saying the truth. Mm-hmm. 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 It honestly hasn't. I mean, honestly, you're the only one who can be able to stop him. I mean, but he, he wants to make up with you, but I mean, that's up to you. You're the only one who can stop this. Because honestly, those two are going to fight to the death, and I'm not really ready to see that. Honestly, I am, though. But he has so many things that he made me want to tell you. You just need to give him the time of day. I get the fuck. I mean, he's a little bit needy in a way, but still. That too. Because he fell on that, he'll go away.
you know you really don't want to do this, Shinaru. I mean, Kamaru, you know, she's telling the truth. She's being fucking honest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just as much as he hurt you in the past. Then you kill him. I mean, it's still, it's closure for you. Because you want to move on from this, don't you? Okay, no matter what, I'll go. Then you respond to his feelings. Mm -hmm. Whatever happens, happens. Mm -hmm. But we know that's not going to happen. There's no way in hell she's going to break up. We all know that. <laughs> I honestly thought that he was never going to come back but in this series characters always come back no matter what <laughs> oh, 
of course. I mean, you guys weren't being so hidden about it. Of course, she'll be fine. It's so tiny. <laughs> Do it yourself. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Honestly, <no. laughs> Okay, number one, the conversation between Kaburu and Shinobu was something, honestly, I didn't think that I wasn't going to need. I mean, secretly, it's a conversation, like, especially with those two characters, because they're the type of two characters that I never personally thought would have had a conversation together. But, I mean, honestly, after, like, being, <laughs> being with the series for almost a year now and, like, thinking, hmm. Are they going to talk together? Are they going to talk together? And then being surprised that they are. I mean, especially, like, with um, Kaiki and uh, Hanakawa with them talking. Because I never would have imagined they would have had a conversation with each other. But holy shit. I mean, someone who was your former and wanting to get revenge for you, on you. And then to get a sword back. And the fact is that he doesn't really like Agaraki. I get that. But still, he is, like, a really... He's the next boyfriend who really honestly cannot fucking say no. No matter how many times she says, no, get the fuck away from me. I'm done. I want to move over, like, move on from this with Agaragi and be with Agaragi. I just, mm, girl, even with the fact this company was like, well, you know, what if you choose um, him over Agaragi? Will you break up with them? You know, and it, it's just, oh, God, I it's so many the outcome of this next episode can go so many different ways and who knows how it's gonna end but well no y'all know i don't know shit but i mean i don't think she's gonna want to go with her former she's gonna want to stay with agaragi i mean she has pros and cons with both of these two and the reasons of why she could stay with both she has pros and cons with like Agaragi and the same thing and so on with the other person. But it's just like, who could she really want to be with for the rest of her life? I mean, all eternity and stuff. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I would rather her be with Agaragi because even though we really didn't see the relationship between the other two, only really at the times where Shinobu has told us from the movie and then getting into the second half of the series, we only know from what she's told and shown us which is not a lot but then plus the fact is that you know her former comes back to life and extracting avenge he has somewhat told some things about um about them together that i'm glad that they're you know telling us but then at the same time it's just like mm, okay here's the cons of going with him here's the cons of staying with Agaragi. but at the end of the day it's her decision she needs closure on this and whether it's those two fighting to the death or, you know, her just having them both there and talking it out. At the end of the day, it's her decision, no matter what the hell she chooses. But, you know, who knows? But yeah, we ain't gonna know until this next episode. Honestly, I really have no fucking clue how this last episode is gonna end and just really bring everything all together. I'm kind of wondering if they're going to show um, the ending of the Hanakawa Tiger again because... The fact is that this is happening around the same time as this, and, you know, you're kind of getting the closure from it. I don't think they will, but then at the same time, they possibly could. I don't think they would predominantly show um, 
the same scene at the end of it where, you know, he finally tells her like, Hey, um, I'm glad that you have these feelings for me. I'm glad that you love me, but I'm in love with someone else. I don't think they'll show that. I think the things that they might end up showing is maybe the conversation with, I think Cassandra had said that she had like, he sent text messages to all the girls. I think we'll probably see that again. Maybe Sanjata might call him. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm going to know until I watch the next episode. But go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode 13. Okay, final episode in three, two, one, go. Mm -hmm. eh, it's complicated. Gotta be honest, though. Mm -hmm. I get that. Until Tuesday, too. <laughs> Honestly, you two needed to have a come on together. Mm Thank you. I needed that because honestly, it's been how long since those two have had a moment together? And it just feels like, I don't know, Sandra had just been like pushed, put in the back. And then it's like, hey, let's focus on these characters. And I get it. I understand. But still, best girl with other best girls makes you all shine. But I'm happy. It's like, oh, I needed that my heart because like I just miss moments with them like dead ass like sometimes you just gotta go on YouTube and just rewatch a moment between them just to feel something until another moment between the two comes so I'm hoping from the next series to the end because I know we're very close to the end not like <laughs> close close but we're close but still I hope to get more moments in the end because she's just so fucking cute together they idiots though, but I love them. <laughs> I 
I wonder how graphic this is going to be, though. Yeah, that's all he needs. Seriously, that's it? <laughs> Seriously? It's a lot. It's just... <laughs> And I think as of right now, she's currently writing that letter to herself. Because she wants help. And then eventually it happens. And then you come. Mm hmm Of course.
Captain Fistle or your girlfriend? That makes sense of why she was there that night. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. I mean, we all know he's gonna get it because of the shit that we saw in the end of the cool story. Maybe once your little duel ends, maybe she'll probably come out. I don't know. God damn it, cheater. Dodge it, please. Oh! 
Yeah, but it counts. It counts. It counts. <laughs> Well, yeah, it even showed. Why don't you just ask her? See, but you think, but you, we didn't even see it, though. So how can you be 100% sure about that, though? You know, 
that's so cute. No. Okay, so final thoughts on this one. I honestly really like this. I'm glad that it was, you know, a story within a story. I'm glad that, you know, honestly, overall, we got closure on this because going back to Shibasa Tiger and the end of that and seeing Aganagi, I had so many questions about it in my head and also talking about it, like wondering what he was doing at the time of the situation with Hanakawa. And I kept wondering, like, is there ever really going to be a time when I get those answers? And lo and behold, it, it just took a little while, but you know what? Honestly, I'm okay with that. And I, I mean, it would have been interesting if this series came right after the Tsubasa Tiger, like instead of the following series, I did after the Tsubasa Tiger series, but I get it. Every season has, or really arc has a role to play, but now I'm kind of wondering what could possibly happen next. I mean, you know, we're missing someone, my child, Mayoi. I do want her back because it still feels weird without having her in this show. I do feel like there is a way they're going to get her back. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure. But, I mean, that's really what the next series could possibly behold and stuff. And I'm not really going to get into that until maybe this weekend. It just depends on, like, my schedule and everything. Probably, like, Sunday I'll be able to watch it, maybe. But... I liked it for what it was. I'm glad Shinobu got closure. I was not expecting Agaragi to do what he did because, I mean, the biggest clue was the fact is with Tsubasa Tiger that, yes, he had the sword. So you already knew coming into this episode that he was going to win no matter what. It was just 
seeing how he foretold and how he won, because that was the biggest thing that was on my mind going into this, because for a moment with first one, I was like, oh shit, like, damn, he's, he's got the damn sword. I was like, there's no way in hell Agaragi's going to be able to win. Like, what the hell could Agaragi do? But then, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I had a trump card, and you, you honestly just, like, woo, I wasn't expecting it, but, it, like, it, something was supposed to happen, and I'm glad it happened this way. Like I said, I'm so glad Shinobu got her closure, and the fact that she, you know, still wants to stay with Agaragi, even after all of this has happened to her and stuff. But, who knows what the hell could happen next. I just want Mayoi back. I mean, I miss that child so freaking much. It just, it feels weird still not having her, because... The last time we all saw her, well, well, me, and then you guys were watching the reaction, was her, you know, disappearing. And I'm thinking, oh my god, we're never really going to see this child again. And it's sad. I, I miss the little, like, moments that her and Nagaragi had. And it just, it, it's the same thing how I felt at the beginning of this episode with finally having Central Hada back in this show and having, you know, them as a couple speak together and talk about how they're feeling at that moment and to confine in one of um into each other but i don't expect that with like him and my because i mean my is just a fucking child and I, he can't really talk about certain things with a child of course but still it's just the, the fact that they would bicker and his lolly obsession things like i miss that like honestly it just it was so it's cute but it's funny and it's a little creepy at times but still it's agaragi and it's like one of the things that you love him for what he is and stuff like that but yeah i just i'm hoping that the next series like we focus back on my way and how in the world that we get her back that's it that's all i want please but other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards the series. Oh, what a guy today. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially on next Friday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for episodes one and two of whatever the next series is. Because, honestly, I don't really remember right now. But I'm going to go ahead and say this now um, before we get into the next series. Since we are getting so close to the end of this. If from how many other arcs that we have left, if there is any time where I do need to, like I did with this series, watch either one, two, or three episodes together, kind of let me know now, just in case. If there is not, if there's an episode that I need to either watch by itself before getting into the next series, because I do... I, I just, I want to know now because of the fact is I don't want to get into like the first two episodes of the next series and someone's like, hey, maybe you should have watched one instead of um one and two and yada yada yada. Kind of how like when I did with Overlord and a couple other series that I did because some people were like, oh, maybe you should do this first before you do that so that you can understand this and yada yada yada. So if there is, let me know. If it's not, still let me know so that by the time when Sunday comes around, because I think that's the day when I'm going to be able to be able to watch all three Patreon shows in a day or I'll watch either one one day and then so on and so forth. But yeah, until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!